What is going on guys? Grave here today. We're going to talk about the patch for Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Of course, it came out yesterday if you're a PS4 user. You know, the maps came out today on the 2nd. But the patch came out yesterday. Of course, if you're an Xbox One and PC player, they said that y'all's update is still kind of in the works and not out yet. But we'll kind of go over the patch notes. I'm going to link the patch notes in the description below because it is huge, long, and I don't want to sit here and bore y'all for 15 minutes. So I'm going to kind of hit the high points. If you want to check out all the notes, I'll put it in the description below. You can check out anything that was and uh, included in the patch. First of all, you can view a player by selecting them in the lobby and you can click their combat record and actually see their, all their stats, you know, arena stats, lifetime stats, best used weapon, anything like that, best kill streaks on every player in the lobby. So they did add that. The specialist, the nomad got an increase in reject stand up speed. The reaper actual equalized the footstep audio volume. A lot of people gripe the reaper. You could not hear him. And it was very true. The reaper was like, you were running dead silence, even though you didn't have it on. Now the Reaper makes a lot of noise. He sounds like a tank pretty much. It is very, very loud. So if you're a Reaper user and you keep getting shot a lot, not used to it, that's probably the reason because everybody can hear you. So make sure you throw dead silence on. And also the uh, Ripper got a reduction of the leftover specialist power available if the player died while activating the Ripper. So they kind of they kind of tweaked that again. You know, the Ripper used to be something you just get back to back to back. But now they've kind of nerfed it down twice. Uh, so kind of slow that down, uh, the ability to get the Ripper so fast. Um Kind of uh, the things they did with the weapons, uh, they fine-tune rapid-fire effectiveness across all weapons. I don't know if that means they buffed it to make the rapid-fire a little quicker or a little slower. I use rapid-fire on some ARs. I haven't really been able to tell a huge difference, but uh, if you guys see any big difference in it, leave me a comment and let me know. Fix the issue with the VMP where players would not show up on the radar. Of course, that was kind of a glitch. People kind of figured out a way to get around using Ghost by using the VMP, and so that has also been fixed. The XR2 got an increase in ADS aim stability and recoil control. The ICR got an increased ADS aim stability. The Shiva got an increased ADS aim stability. Shotguns, the Argus and the KRM-262 got increased lethal damage range, which I thought was kind of crazy, especially for the Argus. I know it's kind of been nerfed and, and knocked down a little and changed, and I don't know, it's kind of weird acting sometimes, but the Argus is really strong, but of course, it and the KRM but did get a increased lethal damage at range. Uh, light machine guns, all LMGs got an increased ADS aim stability. The Locust got an increase aim stability. That was the only sniper rifle that had anything done to it. A little kind of cool thing they did with the brass knuckles. They added a spark effect to the brass knuckles on the taunt part, you know, at the end of the game. If you're taunting and you have the brass knuckles, that kind of has a little spark to it now. Uh, FMJ got a little bit of a fix. If you play Safeguard a lot, you can do extra damage with Full Metal Jacket on to the robot and Safeguard. Now that is, is gone, you cannot do the extra damage to the robot and safeguard anymore. And the uh, only thing perk-wise that kind of got tinkered with was awareness, and they reduced the range bonus, the sound bonus of, uh, of awareness. And it's nothing crazy. It's not just completely butchered it. You can still hear people, just not quite as far. And that's probably a good thing, because awareness was a little strong, in my opinion. I do use it in Team Deathmatch, because you got a lot of lurkers that want to creep around. But uh, I haven't seen a huge, huge... Uh, Problem with it, you know, like uh, it being not, you know, I mean, not working wise. And after the update, it still works well. It's just you can't hear people quite as far. Of course, there was a lot of score streak uh, updates. Of course, one of my favorite score streaks to run is the Cerberus. It got increased health of the dropship, increased AI targeting speed, increased AI accuracy, increased AI damage, increased missile accuracy, and increased projectile speed. The Hellstorm got increased damage radius, projectile speed, and increased targeting radius. Mothership got increased health. Raps got increased health. Uh, the Talon got to address an issue where the Hellstorm Vision set would show in Talon's final kill cam, which of course that was kind of a bug. Uh, of course, I did some things with the GI with increased the health of the uh, dropship and increased the duration to 90 seconds. Uh, the maps got a lot of fixes. There were a lot of issues with the maps. But like I said, guys, those are the kind of the main things, weapon and, and specialist wise and, and, and perk wise, the kind of fix. Like I said, there is tons and tons of stuff in this in this patch, so I'm going to link it all in the description below. But guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the weapon kind of fixes and, and buffs and patches. And let me know what else you think may need to be fixed in a future patch. Of course, guys, if you'd like to hit the like and subscribe yet, please do so. Click some of the uh, annotations in the top corner to see some of my past videos. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.